everyone, my name is Sarah, I'm one half of the YA room and today I'm doing the Brooklyn Nine-Nine book tag. This book tag was created by G Swizzle Books on YouTube, so thank you to her for creating this incredible tag. I absolutely love it, I'm a massive fan of Brooklyn Nine-Nine and I cannot wait to share my selections with you. But before we get onto that, can we just talk about the Brooklyn Nine-Nine fiasco? Those were the wildest 48 hours in my entire life. I went from literally falling down onto the ground at work and sobbing <laughs> to laughing very loud loudly and in a very high-pitched manner uh, on public transport. So, um, whatever, it's Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I'm beyond caring what I look like in public. <laughs> but today I'm super excited to be doing this book tag. I absolutely love all the questions. While I see myself as more of a Gina, I'm probably, in reality, a total boil. And I'm just trying to accept that. So let's get started. Number one, Jake Peralta, the character who lives to be the hero. For this one I've chosen Jace Wayland from City of Bones. Honestly, is there ever a time where this guy just doesn't run into battle head first without any backup? They're always like, oh my god, we're a team, but in reality Jace is like, mm, I am too good for everyone, so I'm just gonna like go and kill all our enemies and you can thank me later. While Jake isn't an arrogant character, Jace definitely is, but they're both alike in the way that they want to be the hero of the story and I can totally relate. Number two, Amy Santiago, a character that inspires you. For this one, how could I not choose? Star from The Hate You Give. What an incredible young person. I just love her to pieces. She is such an inspirational young woman. If you haven't read The Hate You Give yet, honestly, you have to read this one. This is one that I've been recommending to teens and adults alike. I just think it's such a powerful, important read about racism and police brutality, and it's just incredible. Star is such an amazing person, and I know that she will go on to shape so many young people's lives and that's a really amazing thing. Number three, Captain Holt, an amazing diverse character that breaks stereotypes. For this prompt I've chosen Baz from Rainbow Rowell's Carry On. I absolutely love this book by Rainbow Rowell. If you don't know, it is the fan fiction that is written about in Fangirl, and this is it. It is heavily inspired by Harry Potter, and I really loved those magical elements, but the character Baz, who breaks stereotypes, he is a gay vampire, and I am so here for it. I absolutely love Baz and Simon, and this book is the cutest thing to have ever been written. This is definitely one one of my favorite Rainbow Row books. I just love it to pieces. And Baz is such an adorable little munchkin. I just want to hug him. Ah! Four, Rosa Diaz, a badass female character you would hate to mess with. For this, I have chosen Lila Bard from A Darker Shade of Magic. Lila is my number one fictional crush. She is just incredible. She is a badass pirate pickpocketer and she is just incredible. I love her to pieces. I am mildly terrified of her, but um, she is definitely the coolest person I've ever read about. I would not want to mess with her, but also marry me. Five, Charles Boyle, an awkward but oh so lovable character. My chosen character for this one is Wallace from Eliza and Her Monsters. Wallace is just such an adorable character. I love him so much. He's so awkward and just so cute and I love his presence in this book. Wallace is a fanfic writer who writes about Eliza's beautiful, amazing, incredible webcomic series and he is just the cutest person to have ever walked this earth. He's really dorky, really adorable and I just love him so much. He is such a boiled character. Six. Terry Jeffords, the big character that looks intimidating but has a heart of gold. For this one I have chosen Dimitri from Vampire Academy. When I first met Dimitri in this series, I was super intimidated by him. I mean, he's like this badass fighter of Strigoi. I can't even remember if that is the right term for the vampires, but he's scary, you know what I mean. But then he gets introduced to Rose and she kind of chips away at that tough exterior and he is such a little cinnamon roll inside. He's like a marshmallow with like that crispy charred edge and then in the middle it's just goo to the core. He is an incredible character and I loved getting to know him in this series. 2012 feels, am I right? <laughs> Number seven, Gina Linetti, a book or series on your TBR with a massive fan base. 
For this one, how could I not go with Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. I honestly cannot believe I haven't read this series yet. I'm so ashamed. This series has such a massive following. Everyone loves it. Almost everyone I talk to has read this at some stage in their life. And I just really need to get onto this. If this is the Gina Linetti of series, obviously I'm going to love it. Eight, Hitchcock and Scully. Name an iconic fictional duo. For this prompt I have chosen... The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. Monty and Percy are just the cutest fictional duo who have ever lived. These two queer boys are my life. They are so adorable. I loved reading about their adventures in this novel. And honestly, this is one of my favorite books of all time. Monty and Percy are just two characters who should not be separated. I loved their relationship and the way they interacted and they are just so, so adorable. Seriously, pick this book up if you haven't already. Nine, Adrian Fomento, a loose cannon of a character. This one is Scarlet from Caraval by Stephanie Garber. <sighs> this book um, was... It was a book I read. <laughs> Honestly, Scarlett should not be trusted with literally anything. The amounts of time she has gotten herself into danger and has been this close to the brink of death. Honestly, she cannot be trusted to keep herself alive. I can't even. I can't even with her. She is one of the most annoying characters I've ever read. I just literally wanted her to die at some point so um, I wouldn't have to keep reading about her. But unfortunately... That didn't happen in this book. But I have hope for Legendary. Let's see how that turns out. <laughs> 10. The Vulture. The antagonist who steals the show. There is no question for who I should have chosen for this one. And that is... Aiden from Obsidio. Reading about Aiden in the entire Illuminae trilogy, Aiden was my favorite character. Honestly, what a gorgeous artificial intelligence who I love to pieces. I know Aiden is like super evil and brings about the death of a lot of people and that's not okay, but at the same time, I would protect Aiden with my life. Aiden just steals the show for me. I always loved reading about Aiden's point of view and what they were thinking about and it was just the best thing I've ever read. This series is so, so good. And finally, question 11, the Pontiac Bandit, aka Doug Judy, the antagonist you can't help but love. For this prompt, I'm going to go with Holland from A Conjuring of Light by V. Schwab. I just loved Holland so, so much. Oh my god, I felt for him so deeply. I wanted to protect him with everything I had and I just loved his presence in this series. I feel like he has a really great character arc throughout this series and I loved seeing him grow as an antagonist. And um, I would even go so far as to say that I saw him as a hero in the end. I just couldn't help but love him. He was such a vital person in this series and I would meet him and give him a hug maybe get stabbed but you know sometimes sacrifices have to be made to meet your favorite fictional villains so yeah these are all of my choices for the Brooklyn Nine-Nine book tag created by G Sizzle Books I absolutely loved doing this book tag and if you want to do it and you're a fan of Brooklyn Nine-Nine I urge you to do so because it was a lot of fun picking out all these answers that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Which character do you think you are from Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Would you have had any different choices for some of the questions? I would love to hear your thoughts. See you next time. Bye everyone!